Hello and welcome to Drybox. My name is David and this is the second in a series of videos showing you how to stream media to your Drybox. This video covers using your Android and in particular using the Yahtzee application. You can find Yahtzee on the Google Play Store. Simply type in Yahtzee in the search bar and the first result will be the free version you can download. Yahtzee is a Kodi remote control and both streaming and casting application. Features include voice commands, Android Wear support, media streaming from your device and also casting from YouTube, all of which we will be covering in this video. Additional features include support for downloading media from your Droid Box to your mobile device. You can also resume playback on your mobile. Say for example if you want to pop out to the kitchen and make a drink but not miss out on, on, on the action. There is loads you can do with Yahtzee and this video is just the tip of the iceberg giving a quick overview of how to get it up and running. Once you have installed Yahtzee on your mobile device load Kodi on your Droid Box and we will walk you through the rest. System info and network. Make a note of this IP address as you will need it in a moment. Then go back a page and then go to system and then services and then web server. From this screen you can change the port number, the username and the password if you want to. Once you've made a note of all of that information on your mobile phone, load Kodi and then click on that one there and then this icon here go to manage and then press the blue plus button in the bottom right on the add host screen click on XBMC code you can wait a few seconds it might find it on the detected host settings if not click the skip button and then enter in the details that you made a note of earlier. So for the RIP address, it was 192.168.1.138 and the port number was 8081. Click on add host and then your login. So we chose Kodi and the password then click on add host you will now test the connection you might see a mute button in the top right of the television once it's added click on it and then you see it at the top there to double check that it's working you can use the navigation buttons on the remote the first thing we will be showing is how to pick videos from your um, Yahtzee install so click on the icon in the top left and click on movies these are a few video trailers that we've already put on so we can watch the first one 10 Cloverfield Lane so you simply click on it and you get all the information for it as well uh, if you click on play and then play again it will now start to play on your droid box uh, you can go back a page to the remote control and you can use the on-screen icons here to pause it, uh, adjust the volume. If you want to fast forward or skip, you can do that as well. So to skip through a video, you just press right. Um, you can also use this for music. So we've picked a few uh, royalty-free music tracks. Uh, you just simply click on one, click on the play button, and you've got an option here to play all your music or you can cue them or play a random one. So we we'll just pick a random uh, music track and it starts to play on your droid box straight away. Um, with that again, you can also use the media icons at the top here to stop or start, increase the volume and so on. Some of the additional features on with that you can get with Yahtzee um, include voice command so I'll just quickly show you that now so you can scroll down go to the microphone icon pause
and as you can see it's just paused the video play so you can do that for a variety of commands such as stop fast forward rewind skip and so on so if you have a Google Wear smartwatch, you can also use Yahtzee on here. Simply pick it from the menu and you get the on-screen uh, navigation icons. If you swipe to the left, you have uh, your pause and play buttons and you can also use that to um, skip tracks on your music player and so on. Um, so yeah, the navigation menus here you can use to fast forward and rewind. Another example of um, Android sharing is with your photo gallery. So if you have some photos you want to show friends and you'd rather see them on a larger television, simply click on a photo, click on the share button, and then scroll down to play your media center with the Yahtzee icon. And after a second or two, it will display on your Droid box. Yahtzee also integrates with the Android sharing features. So say for example you have the YouTube app open on your mobile phone. All you need to do is click on this arrow here to open up the sharing features and then scroll down until you see play on media. Simply click on that and after a second or two it will send it to the Droid box and start to play. As before, if you open up uh, Yahtzee you can still use the media controls to um, play or fast forward the video as shown here. And if you swipe, you get um, more information on the video you're watching. This concludes our streaming with the Droidbox video guides. Our next video will be covering how to do the same with your iPhone or iPad. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already.